What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and for the first time ever on the Joe Talks Wrestling channel, today I am bringing you guys a WWE tier list video. Now if you aren't familiar with what a tier list is, it's basically a list that can be about anything in the world where you rank it from worst to best or best to worst and you basically you have these images you put them in the list and you just rank it so i've seen people do this on youtube before with wrestling guys like cultaholic have made these videos but i've decided i want to do my own one today and one that hasn't been done before so this tier list that i'm doing i've actually made myself and it is ranking the wwe money in the bank briefcase designs every briefcase ever into one list to figure out from best to worst, which one's the best Money in the Bank briefcase ever, which one's the worst, and everything in between. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into my tier list. Okay, guys, so here we are. I've got the tier list up on screen. My rankings are great, good, meh, bad, and get in the bin, which is the worst one. Now, before we get into it, there's 21 briefcase designs that I've put on this list, so I'm just going to real quickly go through them with you. We've got the standard black briefcase 1, standard black briefcase 2, RVD briefcase, Mr. Kennedy briefcase, Edge briefcase, CM Punk briefcase, Mania 25 briefcase, Mania 26 briefcase, the blue 2010 to 2013 briefcase, the red 2010 to 2013 briefcase, Damien Sandow briefcase, the 2014 gold scratch logo briefcase, the 2014 to 2016 gold network logo briefcase, the only used once Blue Smackdown 2017 briefcase, the Baron Corbin 2017 blue briefcase, the Women's Money in the Bank, the Only Used Once Women's 2018 Money in the Bank, the Only Used Once Men's Green Money in the Bank, the 2018 to current Green Money in the Bank briefcase, the 2019 Brock Party briefcase, and finally, I've put it on the list and it doesn't really count, but the 2020 Otis Lunchbox briefcase. So we're going to start with the very beginning briefcases and make our way all the way to the end. So firstly, we've got the standard black edge. It's like a leathery kind of briefcase. It wasn't the metal case that we were used to. This is the first ever briefcase used at WrestleMania 21. And you know, it's a bit basic, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because it was the first one. Um, it's not good. It's not bad. So I'm going to put that one in meh. Yeah, I think meh is a good place for it. Uh, which means next up we've got the black briefcase, the second one, which is the first time they actually used the metal briefcase. Now this was seen from after WrestleMania 21 all the way up to 2008 at WrestleMania because after that they started you putting the WrestleMania logo on the briefcase. But this is good, you know. I, I, I quite like it. It's a basic design. You know that it's money in the bank when you see it. It's a step up from the first black briefcase. I'm putting that one in good, but bearing in mind, guys, these can change. Once I put them all on there, I might change my mind before I uh, submit my final answers. Next up, RVD briefcase. This is going in great. It represents RVD perfectly. It's all spray painted. It says RVD on one side, Mr. Money in the Bank on the other side. That's going in great. Next up, we've got Mr. Kennedy's briefcase. Now, this is when they started, like RVD started it off, but from this point onwards, whoever won the briefcase started having a customized one with their logo on. And uh, Mr. Kennedy's, it was quite good. It had obviously the Mr. Kennedy logo and it was big. It was on the money in the bank briefcase. You knew it was his. So I'm putting that in good. After that, we had Edges, which obviously Edge beat Mr. Kennedy for the briefcase, and he had his rated R logo. Once again, this is going in good. And the same for CM Punk's briefcase. The CM Punk briefcase literally just had the CM Punk logo on. Once again, it's nothing too basic, but it's not advanced either. You know, they could have done a lot more. Like RVD's briefcase, it was blue. It had RVD's logo on it. It had loads of different colours on it. These ones were just black with a logo, so they're all going in good. As well as the WrestleMania 25 and 26 briefcases, they are both going in good. So after that, it's time for the coloured briefcases, where we had a SmackDown and a Raw Money in the Bank match all the way up from 2010 to 2013. These are both going in good as well. I like both of these. Uh, once I've come to the end of this, I need to rank the good. I need to sort that into like specific orders. But for now, we're just going to get everywhere, everything into the certain uh, tier list. After that, if you guys remember correctly, in 2013, Cody Rhodes destroyed Damien Sandow's blue money in the bank briefcase. So Sandow had his own brown leather case that fitted his gimmick perfectly. So that is going in great. That's the second briefcase to go in great. 
After that was 2014, where we were introduced to the gold money in the bank briefcase. Now, at this point, both the WWE and World Heavyweight Championships were about to be combined into one belt, but they were already being defended together, if that makes sense. So the champion carried both, meaning whoever cashed in money in the bank would win both titles. That's why we had the gold briefcase, and I was a massive fan of the gold briefcase, so that is going in great as well. The network logo, just the same. I'd only put it in because it's got a different logo there. Other than that, they are identical, also going in great. Now, after that, we've got the blue Money in the Bank briefcases. Now, guys, I prefer the older versions where it has the WWE logo, then it says Money in the Bank. So I'm actually going to put that in good, same as the other ones. Uh, but I'm going to put the one afterwards, the one that Baron Corbin held, the version that I actually made my own custom version of, which you guys can watch that video on the channel. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm actually just going to put that in meh because it just says money in the bank. And then it's got like, the thing is the money in the bank logo, the gold bar that goes around. If you see here, this like gold bar is meant to represent the briefcase. And then obviously the handles on top on the logo. But when it just says money in the bank, I don't really know why this is here. It's never made much sense to me. So for that reason, that's going in meh. However, the women's money in the bank. The white, the green, the gold, I think it works amazingly. And right now, it is the best Money in the Bank briefcase design WWE have. That is also going in great. Uh-oh, here we go. The 2018 unused Money in the Bank briefcases. These were awful. I think they were seen on one episode of Raw, maybe one episode of SmackDown 2. So most likely two episodes of WWE programming before these were written off TV. We've got the women's one. It was white with not even gold, with yellow lettering. Get in the bin. It sucked. And the same goes for the men's. This was green with the yellow. Now, I'm not a fan of the green briefcase at all. I really don't like the green briefcases. And this one especially, the logo was stretched across the briefcase and over onto the edges. So instead of just being on the front, and on the back, it stretched onto the sides as well. And it just looked horrific. I was not a fan. So that one can also get in the bin. Now, here we are. The current Money in the Bank briefcase. The one that's been used since 2018 all the way up until now. I was hoping this year they'd bring back the gold one, but they haven't. They're sticking with the terrible green one. You know, I know a lot of people out there like the green one. I'm not one of them people. If they're going to have yellow lettering, it should have at least been gold. But green one, you know, it has grown on me. When I first saw it, I hate it. But I've got used to it over time. Uh, it's not meh. It's not good by any means. I'm going to put it in bad. I'm not a fan of that. And uh, that means that next up we have the Brock Party, Brock Lesnar Duke Box, uh, Beat Box, sorry, briefcase now this fitted with the Brock party gimmick i remember everyone was fuming myself included you can see my reactions on the channel when lesnar came back at money in the bank 2019 and just came up the ladder and took took the briefcase he wasn't even in the match it sucked i hated it but then he had this gimmick of being Brock party Brock, where he would come out with the briefcase like it was a boombox and he'd be dancing. And I think he did that for a little while and uh, it got over. It really did get over. So WWE gave him like his own custom Money in the Bank briefcase that was a beatbox too. And it fitted with the gimmick. You know, I, I, I didn't like it. I'm going to put it in there. It worked with the gimmick, but it was still, a, you know, it wasn't a very good design. And there, here we are. The final one is not even really a briefcase. The uh, Otis lunchbox. That's going straight in the bin. So there we go. I've sorted all of them. Now it's time for me to actually rank them all in order. Let's do it. Okay, it's now time for me to actually rank them in order. So get in the bin. Bad. Meh. Good and great. The best one in that category, so the worst one in get in the bin, the best one in great, is going to be at the front. That's how it's going to work. So straight away, I'm going to move Otis's lunchbox all the way to the front of get in the bin. It's then going to be followed by the women's money in the bank from 2018, the version two that was only used a couple of times, because I just, 
that white and yellow just clash. It really doesn't work. And then finally, we've got the green one, which sucks as well, but the colors don't clash as badly as the white and yellow. So that's, that's getting the bin done. They're the worst ones in my opinion. The only one in bad is actually the current green money in the bank. In meh, Mm, this is a tricky one. I'm going to move the blue one to the back because I think that's... It could be in good. You know, that blue one, it could be in good. It's not great, but it's not bad. So it's going to go to the back of meh. It's the least meh-ish, if that's a word. There we go. Joe Talks Wrestling's commissioned the word meh-ish. Uh, then, yeah, the Brock Party briefcase can go at the front. That's the most meh. And uh, after that, it's not letting me do it. There we go is the Edge briefcase. It's standard, it's black, it's not hurting anyone, uh, which means we're gonna move up to the good category. Now, at the back of good is the standard black one because it's just a standard black briefcase. Now it's down to my personal preference. I'm gonna put the rated R briefcase at the very front. That's the, well, at the very front. That's the best in good. Followed by Mr. Kennedy's, then CM Punk's, then Mania 25, then Jack Swaggers, that's in the right order for me. I'm then going to move the red briefcase up one, switch the network logo and the scratch logo blue ones, so that is in that order. I'm happy with that too. Okay, now it's time to rank the best money in the bank briefcase. So the best money in the bank briefcase of all time. This is tricky, because my personal favourite, now guys, this is my personal favourite. I love the gold briefcase, but out of best briefcases of all time, when you think about the gimmick, the character, who's won it, it has to be RVDs. RVDs, Rob Van Dam's Money in the Bank briefcase is the best of all time, followed shortly by the gold Money in the Bank network logo. After that, it's the gold Money in the Bank scratch logo because it works with anyone. Anyone could win it. It looks like something you want to win. And that's what I loved about the gold one. They made a briefcase look prestigious. Like you wanted to win that Money in the Bank briefcase. I've always wanted the deluxe replica. It's just so rare that I'm never gonna end up getting it probably. But there, yeah, I really like them ones. Then followed by Damien Sandow's briefcase because I loved the uh, whole intellectual savior of the masses gimmick. And then, you know, that works. The, the brown briefcase, the brown leather briefcase, it works with the gimmick. And then finally, least great, still great, but at the back of the great is the women's money in the bank. So there you go, guys. That is my tier list. I'm happy with that. That's my finalized tier list. Would you guys do it differently? I don't know. Let's move back to the main camera for the outro. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my WWE Money in the Bank briefcase designs tier list. What did you think? This is the first time I've ever done a tier list on the Joe Talks Wrestling channel, so I'm very interested to know what you guys thought of it. Anyways, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I'm going to try and find a way for me to leave this tier list in the description down below if I can share it publicly so you guys can actually give it a shot yourselves. Maybe even make a video of you doing it just so that I can see it. I want to know what you guys would do differently to me. What choices you would make that I didn't. One of you may even put the Brock Party briefcase at the top and, you know, the ones I put at the bottom at the very top. But I don't know. I'm interested to see. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more tier lists, let me know in the comment section down below. And please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome once again. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ah!